Ivan Katz here at the Hollows. This is the north side. I'm going to play around and tell you what I throw and tell you why and how I throw it. Let's get started. North side at the Hollows, number one. Straight downhill with lots of trees in the way. Crank SS, 86 putter. Pretty flat with the Crank SS, and uh, it's a pretty stable disc. Stable, meaning you throw it with a little hyzer, it'll stay on that hyzer line, and then fade at the end. Hyzer, and hyzer, with a forehand. Hyzer, and hyzer, with a right hand backhand. Understable discs will turn over. Stable discs will stay on their line. For the forehand, understable discs will turn over. Stable discs will stay on their hyzer line. On to the next one. Number two at the hollows. Straight downhill and a little off to the left of the tee. Avenger SS turned over and then got a nice little bounce off a tree, leaving me for the dropping birdie. Number three is 192 feet hidden behind a tree from the tee, so it's blind. Tough shot. Nice shot with the Discraft Express. Very Nice hyzer flip disc for me. Hyzer flip means you throw it on a hyzer, it flips up and goes straight. So, Discraft Express. Got a little lucky off a tree here, which was nice. Number four here. A little bit downhill, a little bit of a dog leg right, lots of trees in the way from the tee pad here. Interesting shot, certainly. Oh well, good drive with the Valkyrie and close putt with my Dauntless SKB Lightning. Basically, it's called a hook shot. Nice curved disc. Just put it out there a little flat and let it fade towards the basket. And uh, sounded like it bounced out of the chains, but it was a blind shot, so I don't know. I'll have to look at the video. Number five, it looks like it's 295 feet and kind of across uh, a valley and uphill to the right a little bit. Okay, the dart here. Nice putt approach. We'll be right under the basket. This Craft Express. Again, my hyzer flip disc is just right at the basket and turns over and goes straight. So it's a tough straight line to this basket and uh, didn't have anywhere near the distance either. But uh, the dart got me there and close for the easy putt. Dart is a really nice putt approach disc. We call it a dart for a reason. Just aim and fire. Make sure you give these discs enough power to do what they're supposed to do. Even an understable disc is not going to turn over unless you give it the power to go ahead and take its flight path and turn over. On to the next one. Number six is a nice tight fairway. And uh, it's pretty long. I'm not sure the distance is here because I'm not sure if that's the close or far basket. I'd put it somewhere around 300. Okay, started the drive off with the King. It's a 
under stable, very high speed disc, speed 14, the fastest there are. My arm's not that big, but I can get this to turn over. If you're throwing a disc with a third number that's negative, that means it's under stable. So if you're throwing an under stable disc and it's not turning over for you, you need to go down in power. You should be starting to play this game with mid-range discs and putters. Anything from a two, three, all the way up to maybe a five or six tops. Maybe a seven, maybe a leopard, something like that. That's a good beginner disc. But um, don't throw the fast discs until you have more power. Anyway, the king, it's ideal throw. It's a turnover and S out, which it did do, but it got caught behind a tree. So I used my understable Ace Race Sol, which turns over very nicely, goes right at the basket. A little bit too left, but uh, was able to make the putt with my 86 putter. On to the next one. Number seven, good fairway to the left here, and just a simple dog leg right, but you gotta keep the line or else you might get in trouble. Okay, the Crank SS with the drive, and believe it or not, Valkyrie with the birdie putt. And uh, just so you know, coming out here, I'm shooting multiple discs. This is not a true round. Certainly I get birdies, certainly I get aces. Check out my ace on number one at Bluemont elsewhere on YouTube. But this is a very difficult sport. No one's coming out here and shooting pars all the time. Definitely not birdies and aces. So. Whatever your score is, try to beat it the next time you play. And realize that there's a lot that goes into playing disc golf. It's a difficult sport. In fact, it's a very difficult day. It's raining, and uh, this is the only day I had to shoot this course, so I had to do it. And uh, you want to bring a towel with you to wipe these discs down and put your name and number on them as well so that you can find them. Somebody will call you if you lose them. Also, join your local disc golf association on Facebook, and that way you can stay in touch with events and certainly help out if you lose a disc or something. Now the Crank SS, for me, tends to be a stable disc. I tried to put a little bit more hyzer on it to let it fade out, but it got stuck on the left-hand side there. Still pretty good distance, and that set me up for the birdie putt with the Valkyrie. Number eight is tough. The tee pad is back here, and you basically have a dog leg left. It's a nice fairway, but there's trees everywhere, and the basket's kind of hidden right here with a lot of fade problems back this way and this way too if you fade off too early so a lot of trouble on either side kind of a challenging one okay the vision started me off it's a disc I can throw with a lot of hyzer and then it just turns up and I can even get it to turn a little left, which is what I did here, by giving it a little less hyzer, and then it definitely turns over and turns too. So there you go. And the putt with my Ace Race Sol for the birdie. Number nine is a long, far away, and uh, a lot of trees along the way too. Okay, the good old Crank SS got me started on the drive. The Vision, nice turnover disc, nice approach. Got me close enough for uh, a putt between the trees. Not super easy with my 86 putter. I don't recommend using something like the 86. It's uh, 1989, 1990. Go out there and get yourself something that's common these days. Get five or 10 of them and just practice your stroke over and over again. Make sure you give it the power to make those putts. All right, there you have it. The front nine here at the hollows. Number one, south side of the hollows, 259 feet across that bridge there, and the water is out of bounds. Mm -hmm. 
well if you're not sure that you have the distance to make it over the creek into the basket it's a good idea to put it right in front of the creek so that you at least have a chance for a birdie and if not you get an easy par. Okay, so the drive with the vision, understable disc, which means it has a tendency to turn over. And if you sell it a little left with a follow through, you can get it to turn left. Now, distance wise, eh, 260, that's about at the edge of my throwing distance. So with the dog leg left, I don't have enough to get it past the creek safely. It was a good idea just to throw the vision here so that it would turn over and get me towards the front before the creek so that I would have a chance at the birdie, which I did make with the dart. Okay, on to the next one. Number two, very, very long. And uh, it's just a super long sort of fairway here with uh, some trees in the middle, pretty darn tight. And then, uh, little dog leg right at the end. Super difficult. Probably important to stay on the fairway the whole time. Well, there you go. Par four, 511 feet. All right, so number two there, started off with the Discraft Express. Heiser flip disc for me, very straight. Got me down the fairway right in the center, followed by the Pro Style Golf Disc. It's a SBK Lightning, uh, I think they call it a D4. Distance driver, control driver. I like this company, they have a hook shot one that I use as well that I've been using forever, Dauntless SKB Lightning. And uh, it has ridges, and I really like the way it feels with the forehand. But uh, again, a very stable straight disc for me, got me the rest of the way down the fairway with a nice approach shot to the basket, which I made with a good old buzz. So there you go, very difficult, 511 feet, par four. And uh, this course looks great. It's already starting to rain. It's kind of thundering and lightning. So I'm gonna have to come back and play it sometime. But this video should give you a good taste of the north and the south side here at the hollows. And uh, it's a very enjoyable course. I really liked playing it. This south side is definitely the more challenging of the two. So if you're a beginner, head to the north side first. Thanks for watching this round here at the Hollows. Don't forget to check out all my other disc golf videos where I play courses all around, travel, and uh, a lot of them are in the DC area, so check those out. I just posted Clark's Run, a very challenging course just outside of the DC area, Northern Virginia. And uh, just Google Drive and Ivan in any car if you like Cars. And also check out my music videos, Free Your Mind. It's a video that features some of my car collection and my guitar collection as well. And again, thanks for watching. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And of course, subscribe as well. Share my videos with your friends and like them too. Thanks for watching. I'm Ivan Katz.